you see that boring screenshot we're gonna turn it into a frame so basically you're gonna be able to create a placeholder and then when you present something on your video you're gonna have a very minimalistic and attention grabbing frame if you don't know me my name is bart and i'm a video editor i'm currently posting daily on youtube sharing my knowledge with all the video editors watching this channel and also i'm running the editing shift which is a store with video editing assets so if you want to improve your editing game just head over to the description below with that said we're gonna get straight into after effects and we actually need a screenshot so i'm just gonna take a screenshot of a interface okay i feel like we need to scale it down so it's extremely easy to create and we're gonna get rid of these ugly corners so for this we're gonna head over to the rectangle tool let's press and move over to the rounded rectangle tool now i'm gonna try to match the screenshot i have my rectangle tool set to stroke so all we need to do is head over here turn off stroke and we're gonna turn on fill like that hit ok so this is basically our cover for the screen so all we need to do is go to the modes and change the track mat for our screenshot to shape layer one. And as you can see, we already got pretty nice corners. So now all you need to do is duplicate that shape layer one. We could actually rename it to cover. And then this one is gonna be the stroke. I'm gonna turn on the visibility for this one and we're gonna do the opposite procedure. So we're gonna turn off fill and we're gonna turn on stroke. And we need to head over to the window and open up properties just to change the stroke to linear gradient. I already have it set up pretty much ideally, but just to showcase it even better, I'm gonna increase the stroke width. And basically, as you can notice here, I'm gonna turn off supporting lines. It's kind of nicely blended, the white color with the gray one. That's basically the linear gradient and it's not one color. Also, if you double click the stroke, you're gonna notice these two dots. And this is basically changing how smoothly it blends in. So for example, if I squeeze it in, you're gonna notice that the line became very harsh over here. But if I drag that point away, it's gonna become softer. So basically that's the key to having a nice frame. And if you wanted to change the color, you would head over here and then here you change the white. So here we have the white and then here you can change the gray on the right side. I think these colors are pretty much perfect. So I'm gonna change the pixels for the stroke to three. Now we're gonna head over to the screenshot, layer styles and pick inner shadow. Let's open up the property for this. We're gonna change the distance to zero and increase the size. So basically we got inner shadow on the corners, which is making the whole screenshot look so much better. So now we got nice, pretty minimalistic frame. So I'm gonna select all the layers, right click, pre-compose. Let's call it frame. So now, for example, if we drop it on the main video, it's gonna look pretty good. Also, if you add position keyframes, let's slide it in from the bottom. We'll achieve a nice animation. Also, like I said, we could use it as a placeholder. So for example, I can go into that comp. Let's say I'm gonna grab the Polaroid. And now, as you can see, it's going beyond the frame. But if I go to track mod and set it to cover, it's gonna be within the frame. So now let's say we're gonna slide it in from the right. Let's use one of the graphs. Also, we're gonna add motion blur. Let me just offset it. And now I get a pretty cool placeholder. So now if we were to compare it, yeah, you can tell what's better. Also, it's gonna look much better if you put it in a 3D space. So let me just quickly do that. So now it's already looking way better. So that's pretty much it for today and I will see you tomorrow.